kid and you're asking like, what do we do about? Is you sign a contract with someone. So real quick, before you did that, did you... More than 30 years. I got my real estate license in the... Um, and your your origin story. Is that he uh, he made an age joke the last time we were... Uh, I'm going to I'm gonna use that KUKA. You know, I, I'm a little more strict with what I'm, I'm looking at. Uh, Okay. So, all right. Now, one thing that's kind of important with this is having a CRM. Okay. A CRM stands for customer, customer relations management system. Okay. Mm -hmm. It will be important later on, but until you get one, you can use an Excel spreadsheet or, or something like that or okay. Google sheets. Okay. okay. You don't need to go out spending a ton of money, getting all these process, things like that. Not until you get your first deal. Okay. Then look at your business and say, okay, well, what worked? Let's concentrate on what worked. Mm -hmm. Let's reproduce that. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. I want a recipe. Exactly. <laughs> I, want, I, want, I want consistency. I don't want to. Exactly. You know, so tiger. let's check this out. Let's see how this worked and, and let's reproduce it. All right. Okay. So, um, but 100% check this out. I, I will add that tonight to my website. If you want to check it out. Okay. Um, also my deal analyzer, I will show you what that looks like right now. Oh, okay. Cool. Um, that's, that's on there. And <laughs> I've seen that, but I didn't realize that was you. I don't know why I didn't connect the, the dots. <laughs> you didn't connect I, the but dots. I've seen it. Yeah, I did not. Okay. But, but it was before I met you. I just, okay. I don't know, just tooling around and I've saw, I've seen it out on the, um, the internet. So this is my, my deal analyzer. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I have different tabs for a fix and flip for like a, a flip calculator, mm -hmm. um, for a, um, seller finance and for a buy and hold also for a, uh, rehab calculator. Okay. okay. Now the rehab calculator, I'm going to tell you, you have two different options. Okay. You can put in all of this information here, the flooring, the rehab, all of this. Mm -hmm. If you want a quick rehab, what I would do is you, you look in here in the area check okay on average it's like about 25 dollars a square foot for a light rehab 35 45 so on and so forth for medium large uh medium or large rehab mm -hmm. put the square footage of the house here if you go here there's a drop down menu and it's not showing up on here but there's a drop down menu and i can click light medium or large and it'll change this number Oh, wow. What it does is it takes this number here, multiplies it by the square footage that you entered. Okay. So you got to make sure you enter the prop, the pro property's correct square footage. Okay. And it'll give you, this is just a rough estimate. Okay. Keep that in mind. If I'm going in there and it's all pretty much cosmetic. Okay. I'm probably going to be somewhere in between a light and medium rehab, depending if mm -hmm. I need a whole new kitchen. If I need a whole new kitchen and it's still cosmetic, I'm probably going to do a medium rehab. Okay. okay. But if it's quick carpet paint <clears throat> and, and just do a, 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 a quick rehab, then I'm probably going to be at a light rehab. Okay. Okay. So then you, We'll go down here. You can hit, like I hit light rehab and you can see it. This is about 30, 31,000 based on a 1,236 square foot. All right. Then when you get it under contract, now you run your numbers, you get under contract and you, you talk with a, um, a contractor and now you can fill out all this information. Okay. And as soon as you fill out all this information, it totals up here. 
on each one and then the the addition it adds this one this one and this one over here in this top one let me uh in this top top row here okay so now you can compare what the actual estimate is to this estimate okay okay so um you can put in property address and then i would do the same thing for this one is keep it as a master and then hit save as to whatever property you're save it as a new document for whatever property you're doing it with okay and what um what is is this like an excel spreadsheet basically okay yeah yeah this is an excel spreadsheet okay so the contracts are in word documents so you can you can use that and, and edit them uh, okay so you can you can do that and edit them okay um but they are def it's definitely um you gotta have like some sort of microsoft okay word. yeah so yeah um you can upload them to google sheets and things like that and have it that way they mm -hmm. do accept them so um on the buyer on the the buy and hold and the seller finance there's two links here Mm -hmm. And one link here is for updated Michigan taxes. So you would look up the updated tax tax. You would calculate the updated taxes based on what the purchase price is. So that now you can calculate for a buy and hold the correct amount of taxes and get a, a more accurate reading for okay. non homestead. So if the purchase price is the $55,250 then if the, the yeah, if the sorry. purchase price yeah if the if this is the purchase price there it's called um sev value mm -hmm. okay the sev value is going to be half of the purchase price okay mm -hmm. so when you click on that then you'll do that now if you want to do a seller finance or you need to come up with some sort of balloon payment based on monthly payment you're going to click on this link right here Okay. And that link will take you straight to a website that will help you will calculate the balloon payment um, based on, on monthly payments and stuff like that. Okay. Oh, okay. So this is great stuff to have so that you can play with it. Okay. And so that you can, you can take this and like, okay, I, you know what? It works at this price, but it doesn't work at this price. And it gives you the, the return on investment here, the ROI. Oh. Okay. It gives you the ROI here and it gives you the estimated cash flow per month. It gives you the yearly cash flow. Um, and you can change, remember, you only change what's in yellow. Oh. Everything else is calculated. Okay. So the, the property management fee, I would put 10%, vacancy at 5%, and maybe CapEx at 5%. But you can change those numbers based on what you just did. Okay, if my rehab, and I did a full on rehab to the whole property, my cap CapEx can come way down because I don't, I don't need that. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you, you, this is where you're playing with the numbers can see what kind of return you can get. All right. Okay. And then the same thing goes for the seller finance portion. It's essentially the same type of calculator. I'm going to give you, I'm going to be completely honest with you. Okay. okay? Um, but now you, what you can do is you can put in here in terms and see what works. Okay. Now I made, I get a balloon payment here and I can see where I can make it work and what will happen okay mm -hmm. so the fix and flip calculator the reason i like this one the reason why i have this is because i uh, you you can put in your hard money interest rate your how many points you have any administration fees all closing costs 
And then if you want, you can put in even gap funding in here. And then it'll spit out the projection pro projected profit right here. And whether it's a deal or no deal, also <laughs> it will spit out whether it's the profit will be if you go about 20,000 less of ARV or 20,000 above ARV. Okay. And remember, mm -hmm. you only change what's in yellow. Okay. That's it. Wow. So this That's is something. Yeah, this is something that I have um, that I'm selling on my website. Okay. Um, and then I'm, I, it, the reason why I have all this is basically just to help support what I do here to help as many people as I can. Oh, that's excellent. Okay. Excellent. So what I'll do is they're all listed in the same area. As soon as we get on here off of here, I will put on the, the deal where we can get the, you can get the assignment and the purchase agreement together. Okay. Okay. It'll be one. Um, and then I'll get that out there for a um, discounted price of having them just buying them separately. So, okay. All right. That's fine. Um, yeah, that'd be great. And kind of go from there. All yeah, right. For sure. For sure. So, all right. Well, I guess I'll okay. start looking for sellers. Yep. So, <laughs> one thing you're going to do is. Remember, we'll go back to the beginning. This is you're going to copy down all the information from the legal news. Mm -hmm. Okay. And do a driving for dollars. Those are going to be the best list that you're going to get. And then you're going to skip trace those leads to get the phone numbers. Okay. Um, I would probably get a Google voice number if you're going to be hand dialing. Eventually, after, eventually you're going to get, I, I would invest in a dialer. Okay. Where it's like a three line dialer. Mm -hmm. But at the moment, hand dialing is perfectly fine. Okay. If you're, when you're doing it yourself. Okay. okay. Yeah. When you use scale, that's when we can have another conversation about how you can scale and what you can do. Okay. And we can get back on here and do another session. Okay. Cause I'm sure I'm going to have a thousand questions. So sure. Yeah. Not a problem. Yeah. Well, All thank right. you so much. This was an excellent um, learning opportunity here. So thank you for um, having me on your podcast. And I look forward to hopefully, you know, maybe being on uh, another one in the future. Like I said, I'm most definitely. I'm sure the questions are going to come. <laughs> <laughs> they always do. And that's perfectly fine. Feel free to reach out to me. You you have my number. You have my email. Um, so you have access to me. Okay. All right. All right. Um, so I wish you nothing but the best. And I, if you have any questions, just reach out. I will. Right. <laughs> I will for sure. So, Thank you so much. Not a problem. Um, I will. I will email you with the link and everything later on today. Okay. And go from there. Awesome. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Bye. Bye. Once a day that I would pray for you I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too Sneaking looks up and down from across the room